You know, Kedah is absolutely stunning of a state. It needs to be on the map more. And uh, you know, if you want to meet the friendliest people in Malaysia, I had some Puchakubi. No one ever ever talks about a lost star. Good and afternoon. A lost star. Capital of Kedah. Potentially our favourite city in Malaysia. And we had one of the best times we had in Malaysia. It's really, really underrated city. And uh, in the old fashion, it definitely did actually surprise us a little bit, didn't it? A lot of stuff. Yeah, I feel all the ones that people say not to go to are the ones we actually end up liking the most. Oh, definitely. And you know, okay, it's not Penang, it's not Malacca. You know, it's not your traditional, you know, Genting Highlands and Cameron Highlands and, and, and whatever they are, you know, it's not your traditional place. You know, it's a little bit off the tourist trail, but you know what? That's what makes it a little bit more exciting so um a lot of start i mean starting with the city you've got all these you've got all these places like the lost the tower you've got the um first prime minister of malaysia's house um you've got all these different attractions where else did we go to we went to the masjid zahir this is the uh masjid zahir you see the, um, the blue mosaic it is very nice okay. yeah had a kind of peek inside in fact they did offer us a tour which which was also very very beautiful um, there's old colonial buildings, old heritage buildings, lovely China stri uh, Chinatown. Um, yeah, Pekan China is really nice. Uh, Julia and me always really like these places. Always think it's very, very beautiful buildings from uh, yeah, times long ago. Like Pekan China, you know, you've got a market like Pekan Rabu. But up off. Any Tarbasar on Tokamia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, uh, yeah, uh, Keda, a Tarkano, and Tokini. Ah, Apa in the Ah, Doldol. Ah, yeah, yeah. Come with our Taldo. Let's try it. It's nice. You know, you've got a real, real diverse culture. The riverside. Yeah. You know, if you're looking for city life, you know, you've got a real, real diverse culture. The riverside. Yeah. You know, if you're looking for city life, a little star, you've got it. If you're looking for country life, you know, you've got the riverside. It's very beautiful. You can have a wander around. We did. We spent the day going and seeing all these different things. It was really, really interesting day. It's very nice cafes. There's very nice food courts. Oh, the cafes are amazing. You know, the great, great views of the river front. You can see it looks all in one view here. Really, really nice. Um, the next one is is the food. The food. The food. I mean, the food, we had expected very little. You know, we weren't sure what to expect with a Lost Star. People, you know, gave us the impression that you might not find what you can eat. You know, being vegetarians, it might be tricky. But listen, we had some of, you know, the best food experiences we've had in Malaysia. We had genuine Malaysian food, vegetarian style. We had it specially cooked for us, didn't we? Even a sambal Lola. Malay food for the first time. Yeah. There we got um, customized. That's it, yeah, oh, sambal right. Lola. Yeah. It was um, never found before. No, fried and, and it's like it becomes kind of crispy, but it's got this kind of. And they freshly cooked us, and they took out all the kind of all the you know the the the, the prawns, mm. everything out for us to make sure it's completely vegetarian. We had some puchakubi, and we had another thing that was a tumis. Um, shit, I can't remember the name. Um, anyway, it was absolutely incredible. The whole meal was 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 something we weren't totally expecting. Like we had very little hope because we actually went to a place in the first place and they were completely completely had no vegetarian options at all we were told that they might have vegetarian options yeah, by a local and, us were just vegetarian and there wasn't really anything outside, there was there was nothing no. available it all had fish in it unfortunately you know malaysian cuisine is quite they do love the um the udang kering and you know the kind of um the belachan the, the, the sam but you know with the fish in it it's very difficult anyway they even meat, some, some of them are meat in it. Yeah. We had, we had, um, what else we had? We had a great food experience. You know, people bought us breakfast there. You know, we had um, roti puri. We also had a, a, an appam. We actually had the thing next door, which oh, I'm pretty right, sure yeah, was appam lengang, um, yeah, because it's right. made with cheese, yeah, right? Anyway, we had some really, really good experiences there. Um, the food experiences were really, really good. And you know, okay, it's not Penang, it's not Malacca, you know, it's not world famous for food, but let me tell you, the food is incredible. And it's something, 
you know you might not totally expect from a place like a lost top but it's got it um the next thing is the people oh the mall the mall was incredible the the small town has one of the best malls we've ever been to in malaysia you know it had everything it was the right vibe it wasn't full of orang putti it, how was it it's just like a really nice modern mall it's like you wouldn't necessarily find in smaller cities no sometimes. no and you know they were selling a lot of things it was really good vibe in there the people of lost star every time you looked around that morning that we had breakfast and we walked around the city you know people would stop by say hello they would take photos with you they would um Just you know take the time to speak to you take the time to speak to you if they even caught eyes with you they would smile at you it was always a smile they would always smile at you if you locked eyes be a smile like we, you know we've not been to a city where strangers have bought us breakfast um, you know, strangers have offered us ice cream from their stool and, you know, all sorts. But we were proper looked after and it was proper like Malaysian hospitality, you know. People we met in Los Tar was, was super, super friendly and uh, everyone was always, always so welcoming. It was always such good food options and, you know, it was generally it was such a good vibe. You know, people in Malaysia, they talk about Genting Highlands, Cameron Highlands, whatever it is, all the time you know no one ever ever talks about a lost star and uh, it should definitely be on the map if you're looking for something a little less you know overhyped and underrated and somewhere you know we used to love Ipo ourselves and uh, Ipo was always one of our favorite towns because it wasn't massively touristy and you know you got the real local vibe from it a lost star is also very similar to that in fact lost star feels a little more modern than um, Ipo. than Epo does, yeah, you know. It doesn't make you better, but... No, it's different, it's yeah. different. If you're looking for a slightly more modern vibe, then, you know, Lost Star is, like is, is amazing. Scenery. I feel like Epo had a lot of stuff around, you know, like the um, caves and stuff. Mm. And um, a lot of Tower is a kid has got all the um, paddy fields. Mm. So even in terms of... Um, oh man, the paddy fields and lots of, in, in, in his area. You know, Kedah is absolutely stunning of a state. Needs to be on the map more, you know. If you're looking for something that has the city vibe, not too, assuming, not too uh, manufactured for tourism, you know, you know, that's a good start, a lot of stars there. If you're looking for something with the country vibe still, that has that as well, then a lot of star is the place. It is like a people, place we're definitely going to... People only go to Kedah to go to Langkawi. Mmm, that's the thing. People only go to Kedah because of Langkawi, really. We really think that should be different. Um, you know, you can see all the things I'm putting up on here and the times we had. We spent laughing and talking into the night with our friend Naz Nazrul. All night has with it with him. We yeah. spent we just went chatting all night with him and 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 the team he worked with. You know. Tried to offer us too many ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> we had to turn one down at the end. Ice cream, ice cream. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Mike, uh, can we can we uh, manage the uh, gmuk? We we'll can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uh, it was like an incredible experience, and uh, you know, if you want to meet the friendliest people in Malaysia, you know, a lost star is a good start, I think. Um, anyway, that that's uh, that was kind of our experience at a lost star for the last three days. We had a really great time, and uh, hopefully, um, it can be on your on your next uh, on your next adventure too. So um, big up. Um, everyone in Lost Star we met we had an absolute great time and I think you know Malaysia you should definitely note this one down and, and maybe have it more of a, a touristy spot because it is incredible you know and uh, it doesn't get the love that it deserves